to do, but they've certainly built themselves a platform now to ascend and actually maybe get to the point where they can tie things up. They're on the CT side. We know the terrorist forces for the north side have been a little bit weak. Oh my goodness, Freiburg. <laughs> I like that. Love it. Love That's to see what it. we've been looking for. A bit of a, <laughs> bit of a villain there in the octagon. He's uh, suggesting was, they might be choking. And, that was uh, beautiful. That was perfect. We got it on camera and everything. Really I enjoyed that. I don't think he realizes he was on camera, so yeah. that works out. Uh, I think I we guess, have a new GIF. Yeah, that's going to be ex they're becoming a little harder to get these days. Everyone knows the lineups and where to run. Double Molotov. Edwards forced in. He has to go, and he's going to burn alive. Gets one in the flames, but he'll go down. Nothing he could do about it. What? That's a triple? No way. Gets his... Through his teammate, kills Krizen and Fitch. That's ridiculous from Simple. We have to see a replay of that. That's insane. <laughs> Even Edward and Flamey can't believe what just happened in chat right now. That's unreal. It was basically three players killed. Unfortunately, one his teammate. Yeah, but that that's is insane to win back long in that circumstance. And hopefully they can bounce back in the next half. But right now, they seem absolutely flat. More A executions here. As oh, the incendiary wow. is just beautiful. There's not really much they can do at this point. They're going to have to go in just to the smoke stun to dissipate. Oh, they have the read as well. Luckily for them, Mertz will miss the shot. S tag is blind, but Blame F certainly not. This is so brutal. They're just toying with North right now. Every single shot and position is making them look foolish as the smokes are deployed with 35 seconds. Unreal. They're locked out of the bombsite here, Trace. I'm not sure what can be done. Absolutely not getting to the bomb side at this rate. And Vault is going to go ahead and get oh, leg through the smoke. Awkward. The nade finishing him off, and this couldn't have gone any more wrong here for North. He's then looking at the timer. It's ticking down to about 20 seconds, and they have absolutely no map control whatsoever. Got a save. And they've got a Cillian pushing in the back lines there. So any sort of saving they're going to do, they can... Mm -hmm. Oh, Gob, schönes Brett hier gegen Otto. Also, erst AWP schon mal erzielt. Jetzt Gobi, zweite Krieg stark gemacht. So, Gobi, one on two nur noch. Prüft das Ganze hier. Gobi Nummer 3. Oh mein Gott, ist das krank. Wer weiß, wo der Spieler ist. Gobi! Und wenn da draußen noch einer mal flammt. Ich habe nicht mehr auf Forte Forte Jauge. Ich spüre noch stets Maus, aber nicht in Nederland. Ich habe in der Gorge beim Team zu sehen sein, Matt. Ich hoffe, dass ihr mich dann auch supportet. Het nieuwe team. Acronym, who benched you, Chris? I wanna know so I can put them in a headlock. <laughs> Plays and understand what they have to do to win rounds without disadvantage, like Simple does apparently with the Org, as he's doing everything he can to find these frags at the start. It's a five on three, but still can be problems. Difference this time, however, unlike the last one where Simple found the two opening, he wasn't out of position in doing it, so they actually still had crossfires established, and you can see how that works. Electronic holds the secondary angle, they go looking for Simple, he gets the kill, they trade the aggression back, and Simple pops back into position to find his third. Very good trades, very good crossfire set from Navi. That's Pretty much how you play bathrooms off of each yes. other. And it's Fitch left in a one on five. Problem with this as well, there's thankfully residual cash, but winning the last round and then coming back into Navi winning this, they can actually still be reset immediately after. Well, bust up with $8,000. If Fitch can somehow get this bomb down, it would help out, but he's got 50 seconds and the bomb site's actually open now. He could actually plant at Optimus and be absolutely fine, but obviously he has no idea that's going to be clear and simple. He seems to be retreating at this point. 23 kills to his name, almost certainly going to be 24. And uh, just one smoke and a couple of flashbangs. The B splits are so prevalent in these pistol rounds that you might see that straight away. Simple, the star, gets headshot but delivers one right back to the face of Fitch. That's commitment when you've already taken that much damage on an angle that actually is difficult to sort and can easily be peaked, counter peaked from Cat. It's commitment. He gets one, gets away. Oh, the flash. He lines up two more. Gap in the smoke bomb down inside of it. Massive drama now for Grizzin as he finds himself in a one versus four and Simple stays alive. Flamey adds the final kill. Snobby with a second, or excuse me, third pistol in the, in the series. First of this game. They did fall shy in a one on one last time around. Well, there we have it. Will there be any sort of buy here from the T side? I would doubt it. He's not traded out this time either, so it's somewhat sustainable. The problem being they've lost. 
flaming at Monster. That's the main access point to the B site. The single smoke covers off the gap on top of the platform, meaning they can rush inside of that smoke, use it as a veal to get the bomb down. And Simple's really rendered useless in that situation, aside from a bit of luck, which he's going to try and get now. Nearly does. Jame down to 11, but he has to reload. That's when Jame pushes through. Luckily, that reload finished. He's able to get the kill in time to save his teammate, Edward, who found prison in the meantime. Now it's kicker. All they have to do at this point, really, is exactly this. Apply pressure. The kill's not even the important part. Oh, God. They nearly lined oh up God. for headshots. They're even going to go, of course, Simple's going to go for a knife. Of course. All they have to do oh. is keep him far enough away from the bomb that they can defuse it. Keep that man. Slowly but surely weakening these G2 players, making it slightly easier for the pistols. And there we go, Config finds another on the dig. Can he find the hat trick is the question. Taking his time, eventually gets it onto Lucky. And suddenly a 3v2. Can it be recovered by just Kenny S now? AK in hand. Finds it a little bit more efficient, I suppose, to take on multiple opponents. So oh, a little bit of a mistake from Refresh running into the open. What is that 25 seconds still for Kenny to work with right now? As Snappy is being very patient. Hoping that, uh, that Kenny rather will try and push forward and force the fight. It's not the case for now. Kenny actually just going to be able to find that as Snappy peeks out. A one versus three that Kenny probably should have had no right winning. He even gets his off back afterwards. Hey, let me go first. Camera right, camera right. <laughs> what doing? Nice, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Son of them boys, unleash them. These boys are getting fucked. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh shit, the Molotov actually goes towards window. Does that mean the smoke's towards the short position to block the vision from that spot? Indeed it is. So Buster, he could be boosted up, but I think that's the play. Maybe Na'Vi are going for a great shot from Flamey there. He really has turned it on the last couple of maps. Opening kill from him, but here's Fitch. USP needs to find at least one here gets out of the site. That was his goal in that situation. I know it sounds odd to give up ground and allow them inside of the site where the objective is to plant the bomb, but it's efficiency. Staying alive, he gives his, time, his team and himself a better chance when they all arrive together. Exactly that. He goes in with backup, finds a kill, but he's the only one even still. Fitch, Jame, and now Chris and all go down. Kicker was involved in that as well. Great round from Navi. They start off the map with a pistol on the T side, and that'll give them some guns and the confidence to get simple rolling, perhaps. Up on his side. One on that, kicker able to slide back out with the deagle damage done and they'll back away on it. This is now a really nice position for Avangar. You've got the defense questioning where you're heading towards. You've shown so much presence towards long. The great thing about Dust2 is you can get to the other bomb site relatively quickly. It's a long rotation, but you can be on the other side of the map when they've got to go and hold long at this point. But Edward has dropped a really nice smoke there. That's going to buy some time. Has he got anything else left there? He's got an incendiary and an HE and call for backup. That smoke is everything. No doubt in my mind, Na'Vi win this round at this point. Good lineup. Fantastic from Simple. Pretty easy, it seems. Incredible to fire through smoke and find targets, but it's obvious at that point, as you say, exactly what they're up to. It's a very linear hallway. He just gets the job done. Pretty clinical. And it's Navi closing in on this again. We talked about it. Dust 2, they went down a map on a, their choice. Dust 2 hasn't been favored. Oh, you have. Instead of fully committing through a smoke, running into grenades, you might as well fall back and see if you can play this numbers game. Austin waits, hoping that someone will get aggressive. Electronic on the other side of it is going to do exactly that. And that's all too easy. Gray screen. Still for electronic. Anyone could have hit that shot. Buster just positioned himself perfectly. That was the 
Skill involved, the simple does find Jane. That'll slow things down. Bomb still not in position, will come down from long as well, which means they have to confront the AWP yet again. The problem being, he doesn't have any support to his right. He's relying on a smoke and a smoke only to buy himself security. He's dropped the bomb. Time is running low. Look at Simple go. He's got support down from Edward. Finds for another, but Chris isn't able to drop him. Not enough time to plant this. This is over. Zeus knows it. Has to be four seconds on the clip. Don't take dinks like that from Flamey. He doesn't get the kill, but will he be dropped here? He's certainly not going to be. But this is the play. They have to push in on this, even though they're taking damage. And Flamey's on for his second kill. They have to try and trade this out. There's still a slight chance, but maybe not anymore. It's looking so good for Na'Vi, and Flamey just keeps fighting and kills three on two do they keep challenging here smoke down they do indeed this actually might still fall apart here he comes simple oh. missing shots now matt he picks up the org and maybe that's where he'll find more success that's a shot you'd expect him to hit all day especially where he was gifted the access to the site they weren't expecting his arrival and now zeus might have the chance to pull it back line up with a ump at range they had no idea he was so close inside of the tunnels. You can see simple pleased that they won it, but aware they got away with it to do so. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the shit. That's the shit now. Ooh. Yeah. That's it. I'm pierdo on the pink. Oh, I missed your pockets. Out for their trade right man kenny actually before the smoke blooms is able to catch yugi on long and now suddenly b only refresh to try and hold it down gets the first kill gonna reposition towards the door and actually if he can just hold off for another couple seconds you can see his teammates coming to help config pushing through the smoke is dangerous but he makes it work for one as now it's all onto shocks can he clutch it out at 1v2 we know he's more than capable as he hits the open and headshot and with that the bomb is going to be planted Cajun doesn't have a defuse kit but he does have the positive of, of course, Shock's not known where he's positioned towards, but no longer the case. The nice shoulder peek from Shock's baits out the shots. As now he looks to try and hold this down, down as I said. No defuse kit, of course, for Cajun, so... He's gonna have to get a move on. Can't really afford to take too long, waiting for this kill to come to him. Gonna have to hunt it down. And Shock's ready to push it, uh, to hold for the push, rather. Does it indeed find a very easy kill on Cajun, who was not expecting Shocks to have crossed over. So there you have it, 13-2 at halftime for G2. And definitely...